Cindy Buyer. Hi guys, this is Cindy Buyer, and today's do-it-yourself fitness workout um, has to do with whether or not you can find your way to squeeze into the different nooks and crannies that usually come from whether you're doing a deep clean or what I've found in the past week had to do with um, painting, getting down into the little nooks and crannies. So I'm hoping that you'll join me um, today um, as I walk you through different movements that you may have had to endure uh, when you're trying to get down deep into like the baseboards or things like that. And it's going to be very functional. So I just got my paintbrushes. You can have a sponge or whatever you want or nothing at all because we're really going to be challenging the movement patterns of the body and the flexibility and the strength and the endurance for all things that you can think about that you might go, I didn't even think that my body should move that way, or as I tried to clean, it wasn't really doing a great job. All right, or that it was struggling. So thank you so much for bearing with me um, on our do-it-yourself fitness workout series for this week. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to start with a back lunge. So I have a mat here because we are going to get down to our knees and going down onto a hard floor is a little hard. So we're going to start with a back lunge. All we're going to do is we're going to just step back with one foot and bend our knee down and then come up, right? You can use your hands just for balance here and down. I like holding something in my hands, like these light paint brushes, just because it will mimic some of the movements that you, were, you might be doing if you were to be painting a wall or washing a uh, baseboard or something like that. Let's do two more here and then back up and one more here. I'd love to have your feedback later. Let's go to the other side because this is a new Facebook Live feature that I have that I have streaming right now. So I have no clue how good it's actually going to be doing or whether or not the right camera is recording. Um, they just rolled it out today as I was trying to get online just to do this live. Let's do two more of these lunges down and up. And then one more here. Very nice. So now we're going to add into that. Oftentimes when you're stepping down like off of a ladder, like we did the ladder workout yesterday, if you're stepping down off of a ladder or you're trying to get down on the floor, that's one of the hardest places to go, especially if you're tight into your hips or into your knees. So we're going to practice that. We're going to step back into our lunge here where our knee comes down. We're going to actually bring it to the floor and then come back up, right? So you're going to step back and now drop all the way down. So you notice my knee is going straight down. So I'll do it from the side. So I'm coming back and my knee is dropping all the way down. And then I'm coming up. I'm going to do two more here, dropping down. And then back up. One more here, I'm dropping down. And I come back up. I'm going to switch to the other leg. So I'm going to step back and down. And then come back up from here. Step back and down. And come back up. Two more, step back and down. And lift. Last time, down and up. All right, now we're going to add into that. So all we're going to do from here is we're going to step back and down here. I'm all the way down. I'm going to then bring my other foot down. Now I have to stand back up because I've now finished. Where's my washing down here? And I'm going to have to step back up. So my foot comes forward. I have to use this glute. Power me back up. Let's repeat it. Same leg goes back. I'm going to go back with one leg, back with the other leg. I'm going to come forward and power up. So right now I'm using my front leg to power up. I'm going to step back and down, come back down to kneeling, step forward, use this glute to power me back up. One more. Down, down, now power. Right here, you grab right over your glute to lift you back up. Other leg, so I'm going to start with this front leg. Going back, so I'm going to lunge back, drop down. Take my other foot, bring it back. Bring that foot again forward. Use that glute to power me back up. These are not easy. Even though I said it's how can you endure. These are difficult. I find that it's not just difficult for people who are older. It's difficult in general to do these moves going all the way down and up repeatedly over time. So when you're cleaning or when you're painting, it's hard to get into those glutes, to power you up and down, especially when you're not focused on exercising. So I figured, why not put it into a workout so that it can develop your strength and 
and your ability to do these very things that you're going to need to do if you decide to paint low down or clean the baseboards. All right, now we're going to add into that move. So we're going to step back and down. So I'm going to go back to my back leg, the leg away from the counter, and I'm going to step back. And I'm going to go into my lunge, and I'm going to come down here. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to actually sit my weight back towards that heel and come up. Notice this arm. It's going to go forward. Right? Why would I have to be sitting back like this? Well, I might have to get out of the way. The wall might be here. I might have to get out of the way or I'm down there and I'm just trying to reach. Oftentimes, we start moving in interesting patterns when we're trying to do something like scrub something on the wall, like something sticky. You're like, what is that? And you're like, Ugh. right? That's basically what we're doing. We're moving and I'm nifting some positions you might find yourself in. If you don't practice doing it, it makes it much more difficult to do in real life. So now that I'm here, I have to get back up. So I have to power this loop, go all the way back in and stand up. We're going to do the other side. So we're going to step back, drop down. And then from here, I'm going to just simply sit back towards my heel and then come forward. And I'm going to sit back towards my heel. I'm going to reach forward with my arm and come forward. And I'm going to sit back. Now, don't worry about how far back you go right now. If you only get this far, that's perfectly fine. Just continue the movement pattern and repeat it. What I'm doing is I'm stretching my quad, but I'm also working the muscles of my leg to develop the strength needed to support me in this movement pattern. Do one more here. Now here's where it becomes challenging. I have now stretched that out. I now have to power myself back up. I'm going to grab my glute on my back leg and lift so I can stand back up. All right, if you have ever faced trying to do this, after being down on the floor and cramped in, let me know because I know these are things that I faced when I was painting last week. All right, so we're going to add and change this slightly. We're going to step back and down again, and then what we're going to do from here, we're going to sit back like we did, but now what I'm going to have you do from there is take this leg and bring it to the side. So I'm going to show you from the front on this one so you can see this a little bit better. So I'm down on the floor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my leg out to the side, right? And so I'm going to bring it back down. So bring it to the side and then back down. You might sit there and be watching this. If you're not doing it, you're watching it going, oh, well, this seems really silly. Well, you know what? What seems really silly is how tiring this movement pattern is when you're actually cleaning or painting. You're like, why am I struggling so much? All right, so I'm going to go to the side here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit back again and then up. Let's take a look and see what that would look like. If I'm here, I'm going to paint up and reach and then lift. So I'm actually sitting back towards that heel, just like what we were doing when the leg is in front. And then back, do two more right here, and then back up, and then one more here. You're going to sit there and go, man, why is this so hard to do? Let's switch legs real quick. This legs go over here and here. All we're going to do is sit the weight back, so our bottom hits our heel and come forward. So our arm is going to go with it in front. It's almost like I'm just painting up on the wall here. In real life, if I was painting or even if I was cleaning, I might be bringing the arm up and down, but I might have to sit back in this position, which is why we're doing this move. Now come back to the center. All right, so we're going to put those moves together. So I'm going to start with my one leg forward, and I'm going to power myself up. So we're going to do this little pattern together. And all we're going to do is we're going to step back, drop down into the lunge, step down, then step forward and up. Do it again. Step back and drop down. Drop the leg back, bring it forward, and power up. One more on this side. We'll step down, down, forward, and up. Switch the lead leg. So I'm going to go to this leg. I'm going to step back, lunge down, step back again, come forward, power up with that glute like we did in the beginning. I'm going to step back, drop down. This is all functional stuff. It doesn't mean it's easy. It just means it's stupid, that it's this hard to do when you're actually doing it when you're painting. One more coming all the way up. Lift up. It's hard to bring that leg around. I know. I've seen it happen. Sometimes I struggle with it. So now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my leg out to the side. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave that leg forward here. This is where we went before. And we're just going to 
to lean back to our heel and come forward. I forgot the order that I was going. I'm going to lean back towards my heel and come forward and do one more here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the leg and bring that leg to the side here. And I'm going to keep leaning back and up. Why is that leg out of the way? Because there might be a wall or something right in front of me in which this leg might have to naturally just reach out of the way. We tend to put our bodies in weird positions when we're trying to accomplish a goal such as cleaning, taking the sticky stuff off of different things, or getting into little areas. Now from here, switch legs. So the other leg is going to come forward. So all I'm trying to do is mimic those patterns that you might find yourself in, right? And if along the way you start doing your own do-it-yourself project, and you struggle, go ahead and bring that leg to the side with something. Let me know, because I would love to try to work through some of those patterns and try to figure out why that movement is so difficult for so many people. One more here, and come back to the center. Okay, we're going to add one more piece into this, all right? And that's going to be with the leg to the side. We're going to go from here. So if I bring that leg back up to the side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lunge over to it, right? So today's workout is not necessarily just about core strength, leg strength, arm strength. It's about the coordination of flexibility and strength, having that work sequentially when needed. So all I'm doing here is I'm lunging. This head stays forward. This knee is pointing out. I'm going to lunge to that side wherever I can go. If it's a small amount, don't worry. You just slowly move into it and move out of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the outside arm arm away from that knee, and I'm going to bring it down and across towards the bottom of that foot, and then back out. It's like I'm swiping it down and across, and then opening back out. Do two more here, and out. One more here, and out. Switch, so the other leg comes down. That leg goes out. So I'm going to start by lunging over to the side, and coming back. Creating a nice stretch into the back of the leg, inside of the leg, and also into the glutes and into the hips, right? Those areas all need to be equally mobile and strong and stable in order to accomplish some of those tasks such as cleaning. All right, now we're going to bring this arm across to our foot and then bring it up. So we're adding a little bit of rotation. So a lot of times people work out and go, I want to put forward this much effort. This doesn't feel like a lot of effort. It doesn't. But when you try to do it while you're cleaning or painting or something like that, you'll be like, why is it so hard? Which is why we're doing it now. Okay, come back to the center. We're going to step and stand up. We're going to put the whole sequence together. We're going to go through that um, in like two sets of it, okay? So, and then this is where you're going to find you need that endurance to do this. So we're going to start with our lunge back. So we're going to step back. Right, drop down, drop down, then stand up, pushing with the glute to step up. So we step back and lunge, drop down, come forward with that same foot, and step up, step back again. Step back and drop down, drop down, come forward and up. One more, you might be able to hear that thunder in the background. It's really storming here right now. So I apologize if you hear all that rumbling and roaring. All right, so come back and drop down and then drop down. All right, take one foot forward. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean back to put your bottom toward your, your foot and come back up, right? So I'm gonna lean back, reach one arm forward and come back up. We're gonna make it nice and fluid. Why do we want fluidity? Because we want control, but we want control of fluidity. We don't wanna be choppy with what we're doing. We don't wanna be tense throughout because if we're tense with what we're doing, guess what? Our muscles learn to be tense, and then we wonder why our muscles are so tight. So same leg is going to come out to the side. We're going to sit back still. Same arm comes forward. We're just going to reach back and come up. And you'll notice the fluidity of the patterns that we're doing creates increase of flexibility, but it also increases your heart rate and your strength in the very muscles that we're working. Good. Now, from here, we're going to lunge to the side and bring that, that um, whatever you have in your hand across 
and then back. So we're going to lunge into a tap, and then reach. Do two more here, and then reach. One more here, down, and reach. Step back. Other leg comes forward. So I'm going to come forward. See how I walk on that one? I was wobbling. That tells me right now that my obliques on this side are not so strong because I keep falling, right? So what I need to do is create more strength to keep me stable from here. And that's for another episode or, or another workout series, I guess. This how they come up in my head. So from here, that leg is forward. I'm going to just reach back here and come up. So I'm going to reach back and come up. Either arm is fine. Whatever arm you want to do, we're going to do two arms here. It feels really good. This is a dynamic lengthening of the back of that hamstring on the leg that's forward. Very nice. Take that same leg and bring it to the side. And you're going to still sit back again. You're going to sit back and then you're going to reach back up. Don't worry about how low you go. It's just continuously move. It's the movement that increases your flexibility and increases your strength. Excellent. Now we're going to lunge to the side. So the other hand is going to come across. I'm going to lunge and reach and then come out. And I'm going to lunge and reach and come out. So what I'm doing here is I'm having this rotation and so my obliques have to work throughout everything we're doing. Good. One more here. Reach and out and come back in. I know it's a lot on your knees, guys, and I apologize about that. Except the reality is, is when you're doing things like cleaning or painting or scrubbing the floor, oftentimes we have to get down and up off of our legs and we find really weird patterns or weird positions to be in. And sometimes afterwards, I get calls and say, I hurt my back. I don't know what's wrong with my foot. I don't know what's going on. I'm really tight and I'm really tense. That's what all of these workouts this week are about, is trying to help you strengthen what's weak, lengthen what's tight, so you can endure your very own do-it-yourself projects at home or just simply a deep clean. So thank you guys so very much for joining me today and this whole week. And tomorrow we have another do-it-yourself fitness workout just made right for you. Take care.